uh, he ran the downtown improvement district. It was before I was on the board, but I was a restaurant guy, and he would engage us to talk about stuff. And, and he lived over there in Brutusland. He just sold his house not too long ago. And, and he had talked about a very specific thought of converting Rudisil Boulevard to a true boulevard. Planner down the middle, cut down on east-west traffic, and make it more of a grand sort of promenade entrance to what is a fantastic two-sided street here on South Rudisil and the north side of Rudisil. I think things like that, uh, that, you know, Rudisil doesn't necessarily need to be uh, an east-west thoroughfare. Uh, for people traversing, uh, you know, the, the two-mile stretch between here, between uh, Broadway and, and Anthony, it can be a quiet residential area, and that's okay. And and I think we can we can do a lot of stuff like that where we reconsider what needs to be high-traffic thoroughfares and what needs to be slower, quieter, more residential use. Mr. Pettig. Well, I do want to salute those of you who played a role. I know many of you are in this room as far as what has happened here on Rudisil Boulevard. And uh, uh, I think it's, I think it's a, a, a step in the direction that we ought to take in other parts of the city. In fact, it kind of breaks my heart to see efforts being made on the north part of town to, to straighten and widen State Boulevard, which is also a significant historical boulevard in the, in the city of Fort Wayne. I was at the Packard Area Planning Association uh, a few weeks ago, and um, uh, those folks, many of them are in this room, uh, came up with a great idea as far as how to improve uh, the Fairfield uh, corridor and the Broadway corridor and some of the major streets that run north and south and some east and west that come into the 5th District. Neighborhood associations together working with the public sector and the private sector, uh, neighborhoods working together to make design plans, raising some funds, but working together, public sector, private sector, neighborhoods to make improvements to our community. And I think that's something that we ought to see continued and a councilman that needs to be working with you and planning and bringing the dollars in where they're needed to make those improvements. Mr. Ferguson. I see some places on the city streets that need to be redesigned too. One of them is when you turn from Jefferson onto Broadway, there's a little lane there that cars are not supposed to use, it's lined off and you're supposed to be one lane over to the left, but everyone uses that little lane, and if you're not watching what you're doing, you could turn into another car, or you, you may not be able to turn at all. You have to maybe just go straight to the light and come around the block, and I, there seems to be enough room there for a lane, but I don't know why there isn't. And another spot is outside of Southgate Plaza on uh, Calhoun Street at Pettit. They have what looks like should be the width for maybe two lanes split up into three little narrow lanes and I think there's just an accident waiting to happen right there too because the lanes are too close together. I think we do need to have some some redesigned uh, streets and, and, and lanes and such. 